All right, here we go. Awesome. Hey guys, back with another video. It's been uh, quite a bit of time since my last uh, update of anything. And uh, I'm glad to say, you know, we're finally starting to catch up and I can finally make another one of these videos. Things have changed. Uh, we got shelving now, so that's awesome. Uh, it's still a disaster here and there. This stuff hasn't even been put away yet. None of this is in order, so it's got to be put uh, rearranged. And hopefully Amy's going to take care of that soon. And uh, yeah, things have been really crazy since Black Friday. Well, we got some uh, action bases, very few of them left, but we still got some. But uh, yeah, things have been pretty crazy. We've, uh, because of Black Friday and Boxing Day, Boxing Day, see my mind's not even working anymore. I've been working nonstop, it seems like. But uh, good news, let's uh, speed this up a little bit. We ended up getting two skids, so that's awesome. And uh, we gotta take these apart. So here, we got a pallet of Mr. Hobby. Clears, thinners, all kinds of stuff. There's no way I'm gonna be able to handle this. It's like a thousand, two, few thousand, thing is worth of items it's just crazy but this we can handle so i already gone ahead and opened this up just to make sure it's uh correct but uh what do we got 21 toys so 21 boxes and uh gotta unpack this kid and get them shipped out quick peek inside <laughs> so let's cut this open We've basically sold them all. We put a few in reserve just in case something got damaged or, uh, you know, there was something anyway. So uh, even though they're sold out right now, we may be releasing some uh, in the next few days. All right, check this out. Oh, pack fresh. Oh, it's got that new Gundam smell too. <laughs> so this is why you keep a few in reserve. So let's take a look here. This box just has a slight kink in it. Quite a bit of a gouge. Actually, it's all messed up, so I gotta check out the rest of the box. But, uh, yeah. So this is why we always keep a uh, reserve, just in case something like this. Uh, we don't have to tell the customer, hey, your kit got damaged. We send them exactly a brand new one. And uh, these ones are just going to end up in the boneyard at some time in the future. But I got an idea for this one. We're going to cause a bit of an accident. I just uh, thought of something fun. So this is either going to be the biggest waste of time or it's going to be something actually really cool. So I built a little whoop, a little track. Let's see. Going around turns is really tough with this thing. <laughs> It's like a $10,000 track. <laughs> I hope this really works out. And we keep going here, we keep going. And then eventually we get and uh, get to this spot and hit this one, the boneyard one that I showed you before. The other ones were okay. It was just pretty much this one that it's got crease here. It's bent there, bent on the back. So hopefully this works. All right, so here we go. Let's get this uh, cart down here. There we go. Let's get to the starting line. Oops. Okay. Not the best at this, but uh, let's get to the starting line here. All right, here we go. What?
Perfect. Obviously a lot of fun, but we gotta stop screwing around and uh, we gotta get things done. And that was a lot of work. So what I managed to do is uh, bring a few stacks just so it's nice and close so I can package really easily. Grab one, boom, boom, bang, knock them out quickly. This is not all of them. Let's take a peek here. Still got a whole line of them over there. I just, you know, I don't want to make the stacks too tall and then they fall over. So let's get this started. All right, so we just did a wrapping job and uh, somebody from Quebec is going to be really happy. So we ran out of our fancy labels, so we got to make some more. <laughs> it's kind of a cool thing to watch. Of course, we got a jam. Got a label fail. All right, here we go. Here's one of the first ones that actually wanted to be on video. So this particular kit is going to Russell from Hamilton, Ontario. So just gonna get it packaged up. I got the box right here and uh, let's get it shipped out. So Russell, you should see a tracking number uh, shortly. I just finished up uh, Prime 92's order. So if you wanna see what's in this box, uh, check out some cool reviews. You can find uh, it all on YouTube, Prime 92. You can also check out Gunpla Network. We're currently sponsoring a giveaway that they're doing. So if you want to snag yourself something, Facebook, uh, Gunpla Network, and uh, you might be able to snag yourself uh, a giveaway or even a coupon code for our store. So check them out, definitely. They also got a YouTube page, same thing. They do reviews, news, and all kinds of things. So you All right, so here's what's going on today. We got pretty much all of the wing kits out, all the pre-orders. So we're just waiting for Canada Post to arrive. Don't want to say exactly how many we got left for reserve, but uh, we got a pretty good amount. So keep an eye out for that in, uh, in the future. Just want to make sure that all the ones we shipped out today make it without any issue. We also have this boneyard one. Already starting a new boneyard, so just a quick preview. So that's probably going to come out once uh, we get a good amount of it. One more big private warehouse to ship out. So this is Jonathan's order from Georgia. There's a bunch of private warehouses and uh, it's time to go and uh, head home. So I'm going to get this packaged up and get it out of here. And Canada Post is just leaving. So all together, it looks like we spent... $1,210.92. Thank you for watching uh, the video. I know it's been a little while, but hopefully I can get back into it now that things are slowing down a bit. And I uh, appreciate that. Subscribe, like the video, because that shows me that you guys are interested in this kind of thing. And I appreciate uh, you uh, staying till the end. So I got a little surprise for you. I'm going to let the car kind of do the talking. All right, here we go. Catch you in the next video.